What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Camp Mongoose Let's Play. Uh, now, we are finally back with Season 2 of Camp Mongoose. If you guys haven't already seen the, um, the uh, video I put up the other day or our first day live stream, uh, like I mentioned, I am going to be doing a single player again. Uh, and and we're gonna we're gonna hit some news in this episode, all right? While we look for a place to live. Um, now I haven't been on this uh, this character, and um, not yet. Let me make sure my music and stuff is on. It is. We all good? Yo. Uh, so uh, for people that don't know, you keep the same rake as uh, as you were on the last map. So I'm still a rover. And, uh, which means I have access to a couple of kits here. So I got my scout kit, my tenderfoot kit, my second class kit, first class, rover, and initiate. So I highly recommend you guys do those first if you've now, uh, just joined in the server. That way you can get all these extra badges, um... From, uh, from donating last season. Now uh, we're gonna go upstairs and open these up. Whoa, nice. The King's Bounty. I'm hoping for at least one good pick. There's three legendary picks this time around, so I'm hoping that our Mongoose badge gets us some, some good stuff. And uh, like I said, we'll be talking about a couple of stuff. Gonna, gonna, gonna basically talk about how my 2016 went. All right. Let's see, let's. Okay. Start off with the the lowest uh, thing. Uh, yeah, even 30 levels of experience is a little bit harder to get than the 5K. That's fine. That's good. Let me turn on my hacks. Come on. Damn. 20k cash. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to, to get something dope right after they said that. Nah. Um, so, uh, yeah. Basically, what happened in 2016? Oh! Boom! Legend badge, baby. <laughs> I believe the legend badge is, uh, oh, I thought we almost had another one there. I was going to say, oh, shit. Uh, the legend badge is, I think, a half a percent to get. Um, keep going. Let's keep train rolling. Okay, I'll take, I'll take money because money is going to be very useful in the, in the server because the, um, the in-game shop is actually pretty cheap, uh, because I got a plug-in that uh, gives us a shop GUI and uh, I'll take I'll take experience too <laughs> and um, it uh, it came with a bunch of prices for all these items and they were all relatively cheap and uh, I don't feel like changing them because I don't want that to be a burden for people uh, on the server I want people to be able to get the items that they need and be able to build their their really awesome structures so what do we get out of that we got six melee two explorer two defense and two marksman not bad i kind of hope that we had more explorer than melee but you know i'll take it and we got the legend badge pretty cool um melee, melee. straight across so let's hope for for something Ooh, the dull hand all right jackalope that's fine there's bark bark on it Got no problem. Now there is a new legendary in each one of these ones, except for the mongoose chest. There's new items. So the new legendary here is called the pig sticker, but there is wrath guard and the blood and e bloody ebon blade. Uh, Shadow rend is also new. We do have a couple of new stuff. Got a hydros. Hydros isn't so bad. That's good on breaking. Got the got one of the new ones. As smite and bane and uh, I'm breaking. That's that'll be all right for um, our uh, fighting the skeletons and stuff that we're gonna be doing. The wound fighter aspect two, we'll be all right off that. 
Smite four Bane of Arthropods for. I'm breaking three. Did I make these the same one? Wow, look at that. It's the same sword. I didn't copy this one over, so I, uh... Huh. Okay, well, I'll have to edit one of these to, to make it a little bit different. Alright, well, I got two of the ones I wanted to use anyways, so... Whatever. Uh, Hydros. And, uh, let's go to... Defense. No, we got Marksman, so we'll do Marksman. Real quick. Ooh, Rudra Bro! Moist. I'll take a Rudra. Power 6, I'm breaking 5, Flame 3, and Infinity. Bow imbued with the sacred essence of the ancient god Rudra. Not bad. Don't have an arrow just yet. And a butterfly bow. <laughs> Alright. Butterfly bow is great. It has feather falling and lure. And people say it's only good. What is it? To capture? To kill butterflies. Uh, defense. Let's go something cool. Ooh, Twilight Cultus Helm. And an Arrow Breaker. Not bad. So, um... It, the, the, you can't put... The enchants on a shield don't really matter. But getting a shield right off the bat, not bad. You know. Uh, what was the helmet? Twilight Cultus Helm. Sparkles at night. But it has protection 4. I will take that. Protection 4 on a iron helmet. Let's go something good. Stink fist. Alright. And dead man's axe. Okay. Well, we got kind of a rounded base of stuff. I don't mind having an axe. That's actually pretty good. Uh, we're going to try to break through this first. And, uh, anyways, let's go to the Legend house. And we'll turn in our one Legend badge. Here we go. Come on. Hide of Leviathan. Not bad. I'll take it. All right. So, uh, that's the benefit of having the Legendary badge. Also, you can see how packed this chest is getting right here. Um, but, uh, all the regular... Items have 5%. Oh, pig sticker. Got messed up there. That's a 1%. You know, it's it's good and bad because a pig sticker is actually a pretty good sword. Uh, there's also new uh, ancients here. I'm surprised no one told me that there was a, that was a problem. Pig sticker legend. Fix percent. And uh, fix ebon blade. Just making some notes, because this is the first day, so there's going to be a couple of bugs, a couple of tweaks that we're still working out. Had a couple um, in the beginning. Also, if you guys don't know, we have a Discord. If you want to go to discord.gg slash teammongoose, that'll bring it to you. Um, so, uh, anyways, that's all of our... That's all of our badges. Let's, uh, let's look for a place to live. I'm just going to go out this door right here, and we're going to walk. Or run. Or do 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 this thing. Um, oh, wait, actually, before we go, i got a couple of quests we can finish. I know this because of this right here. So if you do forward slash quest, it'll bring up this thing right here. And we're going to do the Twitter follow one. And the goal is to visit the Twitter hologram at spawn. So there's like a gold block here, a little arrow. And here's the hologram. And it's just to inform you guys that we have a Twitter, the Team Mongoose uh, Twitter in general. You can follow it if you want or don't. It's fine. We go just kind of jump into it i think you could just go on here and jump on it but i just i just do that and uh we get another mongoose badge so warp badges let's go something cool two defense ones okay not bad i'll give us an extra chance of uh maybe filling out our armor okay got some leroy jenkins i'll take them we needed boots, and these ones have feather falling on them, which is pretty cool. And we have badly rolled armor. Oh, we didn't have a chest piece, and now we do. Look at that, a full set of armor. It all works out. Um, what other quests can we start right now? Let's uh, let's get the two kill ones going. So this one's kill 25 zombies. This one is 25 skeletons. Um, 
which we can both start. We can also start Iron Killer and Block Breaker. Uh, and we've already passed 15 for the level thing, so all we gotta do is just reach one level, and that'll tick over an Omnom, which is eat an entire stack of cooked potatoes, which, if we open up the shop, go to the food, baked potato, we're just going to get ourselves a full stack of potatoes. Right there. Done deal. And uh, that'll be our food. Because we are going to need it. Uh, is there anything else that we could use from there? We could use a shovel. So let's pick up a diamond shovel. And... That's really it. We got, we got, I would rather, I'm going to try to use our, our current stuff. So what's our current balance at? 89,000. I don't think that puts us in the top right now. No, we got too many people already up there. Mercedes at 686,000 already and Julie right behind him. Um, which by the way, Julie Ranter, great, great name. All right. So let's, let's get going. Uh, I think this was the exit that we were going to go to. Yeah. Now, um, what has happened to Camp Mongoose from last year, which went live near the end of March, so, so just over a year from now? What happened since then to now? Because, um, as a lot of you know, Camp Mongoose kind of, kind of went into no man's land, basically, uh, near the end of its lifetime. The first season, the first, first map of it. And right now we have a lot. A lot of people on. This is actually a, a small amount of people compared to the, like, 40-something that we had earlier uh, while we were streaming. Uh, I think because everybody was excited and trying to just look for places to go. There's a lot of farm animals out here. Um, so, last year, as a lot of you know, because I, I did complain about it quite a lot, and um, it got incredibly serious... Is that I had uh, I had a pinched nerve in my lower back. Still have it. Still dealing with it to this day. It I th that happened to me last February, and it is currently April, the beginning of April, and uh, I'm still dealing with it. In fact, I got a chiropractor appointment later this week to keep uh, keep at it, and uh, it's gotten a hell of a ton, hell of, hell of a lot better. Um, I'm also I'm I'm super tired. I've I've been up really late. And waking up early to work on this last... Do I have Depth Shredder? I walked through there pretty freaking quick. Aqua Affinity Depth Shredder. Yeah, we got Hide of Leviathan. Look how fast we can move through the water. Like a speed demon. Oh, I forgot our skin. <laughs> ah, I remember how goofy we look. Um, so yeah, I've been working on, um, working on all this stuff the last like week and a half with Swifty. And uh, Lethal Squirrel also did a lot. He's actually online. He's right there on the, on the right side near the bottom. He was the one that actually did the the dragon base. Uh, so he did, did did a great job. Like, blow my mind good. Um, and so uh, let's, uh, let's get this coal here. So uh, I got a pinch nerve. I'm going to try to stay on track, guys. But you know how I work, all right? I, may, I say I'm going to make a short video and it ends up being like... 40 minutes long, you know? That's just that's just how I roll. Oh, we should probably get some wood for torches as well. Hey, iron, we need that. We need that for a quest. So if you're joining, I highly suggest starting all the quests that I started, especially since a lot of them all work together. You're going to be breaking a thousand blocks eventually. It's not going to take that long. It's Minecraft. Um, you're going to be breaking iron and stuff early on. Uh, next, you're going to be breaking coal. That's actually the quest after the iron one because I wanted to be a little a little cheeky about it. We don't need it anymore. That we need wood. And um, so the my pinch nerve, I don't know if any of you have ever experienced a pinch nerve before, but it is awful. Nerve damage is, is just the worst um, because it's something so small. And something um, so irritable, like it, it, anything will irritate it. And um, if you're dealing with one that's in a position, like mine was 
was like it wasn't in the line that it's supposed to be in when it um oh, i can't hit oh, i need inventory tweaks that's why i can't do that um so it was like it was basically being pulled farther than what it's supposed to and you you can't if i remember right you can't stretch a nerve um it can move around and stuff like that, and your body is built in a way to where all these nerves can all move and everything. Um, move naturally with you as your body moves. Well, uh, I fell asleep in a, in a wrong position on a plane, and uh, my nerve slipped over a bone and, and went into a position that it just shouldn't have been in. Um, so uh, that's what happened, basically, was that... Um, it, uh, it, it's pinching itself between a bone and, I assume, another bone. I didn't... I, I was given the specifics at the time, but I, I can't remember. It's been so long. And, um... Since then, uh, it got progressively worse. Uh, and then we started the Camp Mongoose thing. And made the server, did the whole map, and did all that work in the beginning. We had tons of really cool ideas. If you guys... Remember the first month of Camp Mongoose, the first season. Sorry, I'm readjusting myself here. We actually made a lot of progress. Made a ton of progress. Um, we had a bunch of uh, extra features and stuff uh, brought in. We had new uh, new tools, new weapons uh, in the chest stuff. And uh, I even combined about four different plugins to work seamless. Well, basically seamlessly together for um our first raid uh you know i tried i wanted to bring in like a raiding system inside of minecraft which there's not a single plug that actually handles all that where it's a different world it's instanced uh it costs something to enter that world and then the world is relatively the same every time with a few exceptions of random mob spawns and uh, for you guys to help plan um plan out attacks for it and it's limited by how many people can join, and the final boss has a custom uh, health pool and damage values and skills and everything like that. It was this huge, huge thing that I don't think a lot of people on the server really understood how big of an achievement that was. And we had the one raid. It was called Slagathor. It was meant to be a very difficult raid, um, and it was only supposed to be kind of easy for people that have, you know, like the legendary pieces of gear. And even then, it was a little bit of a challenge, and it got to a point where people were able to uh, to solo it. They figured out, like, ways to get through it, and that's perfectly fine with me. I wasn't about to go back in and make it harder, because the whole point of a raid, if any of you guys play MMOs, which a lot of you do, um, when a new raid comes out, or a new dungeon or something like that in those, it's pretty difficult in the beginning because a lot of people don't know the mechanics. Uh, as time goes on, people learn the mechanics, they learn how you handle it, and then it just becomes easy. It becomes second nature. So, um, you, you get a team together, and you go in prepared, and you're ready to go, and that's it. And you're done. That's, uh, that's what Slagathor was supposed to be. It was, the, it was supposed to be the first of many. And, uh, I finished Slagathor, and things were going right, and I was already planning, and, and Brando was actually a part of this, um, this planning thing. We had another map, which I may go and steal if we can figure out how to um, how to move between maps. I'm pretty sure we used Multiverse last time. I think that plugin's updated. So um, I'm, I'm ignoring the chat. Hopefully people aren't asking me anything. I'm trying to focus on my story so I'm not uh, stumbling over myself. So um, we, uh, we did all of that, and uh, we got Slagathor going in, and we were planning another... We we're planning another game. Basically, it was going to be this crazy map. The, think of kind of like how uh, MOBA maps are laid out. Because uh, they're basically the same map doubled over on itself. So, uh, each side has a fair advantage of reaching the other side. I mean, technically, like, you could say the same thing about, like, CSGO maps and stuff like that. But you'll hear the phrase, like, oh, that's a T-sided map. So, that means the Terras have kind of an advantage over the counter terrorists on that map but uh league correct me if i'm wrong i believe that that map is fair on both sides both sides can reach the map 
at the same speed or the same time without like all the extra variables like if your character you have a faster character that's more mobile and stuff like that you can get to areas faster but if you had like the same character on both sides which i don't know if you could do that in league or not i don't play that whole but i don't know if you can choose the same here on both sides um i think you can i think that just one side can't have all the same here i don't whatever i don't care um so uh we were creating a map that was uh that was equal to both sides and um we had the attackers and defenders, and it was it would swap off. So we had dragons versus knights and knights versus dragons. And um, the whole point of it was that the defenders would have uh, three NPCs that they needed to protect. These NPCs had their own route that they would walk, uh, and one would be random. So he would just randomly walk around this town, going in and out of houses and all that stuff. And each one had a, a pretty high health pool, and they would drop a key. Each one would drop a key. And the attacker's goal was to get all three keys, and then reach the end room of the defenders. And uh, I think we were planning on having them break, like, a crystal or something like that at the end. Very similar to, like, a MOBA-style thing. You know, that that isn't anything new. I was doing that shit in Ragnarok Online 20 years ago. You know, that sort of gameplay is nothing new. Uh, everybody just kind of makes it their own in their own game. So I was making one in Minecraft. I was making a ton of progress on it. And then it got to a point where my nerve was getting really bad. Like, anytime I would sit down for more than... Ah, oh, damn it, I ruined it. I ruined it, and now I'm dead. Oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to be killing zombies and stuff. What am I, do what am I doing? I gotta be killing zombies, man. Um, and it started, anyways, my back started getting really bad to where if I was sitting down for more than about 20 or 30 minutes at a time and I stood up, about five seconds after standing up, I'd get hit with this wave of pain all throughout my back and all the way down my left leg. And, um, it was so bad that it would, like, kind of, like, make me, like, stutter a little bit. Like, I'd, I'd have to take, like, a step forward and kind of brace myself for about this five to eight seconds worth of just awful pain. And um, then it would pass and then I was perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, like I still had my mobility, I could bend down, pick things up, I could do whatever. It was just going from that sitting position to a standing position and it just became the worst thing in the world for those couple of seconds. And I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. And then it wasn't going away because if, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys, um, it's, more typically a male thing, you know, because because girls seem to have the mindset of like, hey, this isn't right. My body isn't supposed to be acting this way. How about I go get help or see what's going on? Guys are just like, ah, it'll be fine. Walk it off. Ignore it. It's going to be fine. And um, which is just uh, it's just not true. And I've 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 completely flip flopped on that because I've before this, I haven't been to a doctor in, like, 15 years. Something like that. I just don't go to the doctor. I, I, I hardly take medicine when I'm sick with, like, a cold. I'm, I'm more of a make some tea with some honey or something like that and just drown myself in it and then complain. But, you know, I feel better and I get better. I've always had a pretty strong constitution because of that. Um, I try to stay away from taking medication in general. Um... So, uh, this was the first time I went to the doctor and I was telling him, I was like, I'm having a real problem with my lower back. Like, I have this really hard, like, bad pain back here. And at this point in my life, I was just gearing up for NVIDIA GeForce Garage. And, uh, it got to a point where I was starting to make these big plans with them. Where they were asking me, I was like, hey, we want you to fly here and there, uh, to do all this stuff. And I was like... All right, that sounds good. Um, count me in. But with my back, I couldn't sit down for longer than a couple of minutes before my back started hurting. And when I stood up, I was in terrible pain. So I was in this weird state where I was, um, I was like basically half sitting on stuff and I was standing a lot because I didn't want to sit down because I knew if I sat down, I'd be in a ton of pain as soon as I stood up. I kind of screwed myself here. Um, I see a swamp over there. I don't really care about the swamp, but this mountain's looking pretty neat. Um, so, uh, oh, a skeleton. 
Oh wait, I don't have um I don't have any arrows. All oh, right, new fighting system. Got to got to slow down. Got to slow my roll. Uh so hold on. Let's do shop. Uh armor? Yeah, let's buy some arrows. Does my bow have infinite? Yeah, it does. No, I only need one. Thank you. <clears throat> so I was making all these moves with Nvidia. The first trip which uh, we were going to Washington. Seattle, Washington. Never been to Seattle, Washington ever. And I was really, really excited to go. Seattle. But I knew I needed to go on a plane ride. So I, I, I was talking to my doctor about that. And uh, we are at our about 25 minute max, unfortunately, guys. So I'm going to cut it here. But I'm going to pick up right here. For the next episode thank you very much for watching everybody i'm trying not to keep these episodes incredibly long uh because they're going to be much easier to edit and upload and that means more of them will come out for you guys gotta look out for the creepers man so i'll see you for the next one if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up i appreciate it if you're new to the channel you like what you saw you can hit the subscribe button leave a comment all that cool stuff i'll see you guys for episode two of season two